Nation. Welcome incoming freshmen. So today I'm going to give you guys some freshman advice so you guys don't freak out and yeah. So let's just get started. <laughs> section of like my advice is social life and like friends and just kind of what you do on your free time. So I'm gonna turn my phone. No phones in class. <laughs> the first part is like friendships and I have like one main point. High school is kind of like a mixing pot so you have kids that are from all different schools coming together so unless you live in a really small town then you're gonna have new students so it's really good to be able to like start fresh, make new friends and so just kind of like be yourself so you get like a fresh start. Even if you have like a usual friend group, try to like broaden your horizon. Be that kind of person that talks to other people in class when you have a chance because you never know. Those might be your new next best friend. There are some girls that are always like super afraid or guys that they're not going to have any friends in high school and I'm letting you guys know that there's always someone willing to be your friend. Like if I don't know if you guys go to my school but people who do go to my school if they're like ever like needing a friend, I'm always here. And there's always people, like you may be afraid, but just go and talk to that person. If they're like kind of loud and fun, then they're most likely gonna be your friend. A lot of times in high school, rumors will spread. Don't judge per a person by the rumors you hear because most likely they are exaggerated or they're under exaggerated or it's just something that was supposed to be, be between two people and it got like way blown up. So honestly, give a person a chance before you stop like talking to them. You will not end freshman year with the same group you started with in the beginning. I'm telling you right now, like you might have this couple same friends, but you're gonna lose friends and you're gonna gain way more. Like it's gonna be kind of like you're gonna be going through friends. And that's just because you're gonna be learning kind of how who is actually there for you, who's not, and people are gonna start changing too. Surround yourself with people that make you feel good. Don't surround yourself with people that make you feel bad because there's gonna be so many ups and downs for like certain people. Some people like they have an amazing freshman year the whole time or some it's just like, completely awful. And then there's just some people where it's like up and down the whole time. Do not surround your people like yourself with people who are gonna put you in bad situations, make you feel bad about yourself because there's so many people that you can talk to in your high school that are not gonna do that to you. Popularity, um, do like the thing about friends in middle school is that they kind of like the popularity situation is completely different. When you get to high school, it's like a lot of people that were like you barely saw are gonna end up starting to be themselves or getting like a little bit more bold or some people are gonna become shy, like things are gonna happen, personalities are gonna change. Some people are gonna get really hot, some people are just gonna stay the same. And you never know what's gonna happen. And honestly, like those people that you thought were so mean, they they might change, they might get meaner. You never know what's gonna happen. So honestly, give everyone a chance when you start because you never know who you're gonna become friends with. The next thing is boys. And I know so many girls come to high school and they're like, oh my God, I'm gonna get a boyfriend. I'm gonna go hook up with people. I'm gonna just go crazy. I'm gonna have so much fun. First of all, guys will come and go, and second of all, guys will say anything to make you do what they want, to get what they want. So don't listen to a guy, and don't get involved with guys that you don't think have the same feelings for you. Honestly, like, don't get attached to them because high school relationships, like, most of them don't last, and you're gonna have to, like, learn the hard way most of the time, but if you're gonna, like, think about dating someone, make sure you don't go for someone who talks to a lot of other girls or says things and then tries to like get you to do stuff with them that you're not comfortable with. And also boundaries. Like if you're gonna hang out with guys, set boundaries. Don't drink around them. Just be really cautious because you don't know what can happen. Like there's so many girls that they make, the, they go too far off their boundaries and then look what happens. <laughs> like they have a baby the next time you see them. Don't think that you have to have a guy. Don't think that you have to go and hook up with people. Honestly, dating isn't the only thing that you should do in high school. You should be friends with guys way before that because you have your whole life ahead of you to get married and have little babies. Next section is school. So first of all, um, I talked to a couple seniors and I kind of got like a little bit of like broad advice from them because I figured, you know, they've gone through like all the years now. So one of them actually said, enjoy your whole high school experience and don't just wait to be a senior because you should embrace everything rather than just waiting and waiting to be senior. Because honestly, you have those four years. 
take them and love them. Don't be like, oh, I hate being a freshman or, oh, freshmen are so annoying. Be like, oh my god, I'm a freshman, yay! And then be like, yay, sophomore! And then when you're junior, you're like, oh, this is so hard, but I love it still. And then when you're senior, you're like, everything, you know? <laughs> Try to get good grades now and don't wait until senior year when you're applying, or junior year when you're applying to colleges and trying to look good on your resume. Do it now when you're a freshman. So many people forget that freshman year grades do count. Make friends with your counselor. I'm pretty sure my counselor thinks that my family is like a soap opera, but try not to be a soap opera. Try not to cry in front of your counselor. Try not to like be like dramatic in front of them. Try to just like know what you want and explain to them and have them help you out because if you're friends with them, then you'll get a really good schedule. My schedule for sophomore year is on point. <laughs> Okay, another thing is keep up with your schoolwork. That is like so easy to say, but so hard to do. When you What's up? School. Figure out study habits that work for you. Don't go and do flashcards if you're never gonna look at them. Getting involved. So getting involved is kind of like finding like clubs and sports. Try to find things that you're interested in. Oh my god. If you have something called Key Club at your school, I know they have it like all across like the country, so if you have it at your school, get involved with that because you can most likely get an honor court for that and I think at my school we need 300 hours, so get involved, do it when you're a freshman and then like work hard at it and you'll make so many friends, you'll be able to put stuff on your resume, it'll work out really well. Try out new things. If you think, oh, maybe I want to be in a photography club, maybe I want to be in Christian club, Go and try it out. If you guys want to get into the yearbook, join a lot of clubs because they always take club photos. So if you're like a person who likes being in the yearbook a lot and you like your picture there and you want people to remember you or recognize you when you're older, then go and join like a million clubs. Are you kidding me? So this last section is like you and I only have two main points for this. And basically you start with goals and you try to keep them because honestly, if you don't start with goals and you don't really know where you want to go, then you don't really like, you have to kind of set goals and boundaries and know what you're gonna do for yourself and how far you'll go and what you wanna do with your life and stuff because when you are put into different situations, you kinda need to know what you will do in those situations and like how you'll react. And then if you're not happy with something, you should change it. If you're not happy with your schedule, go change it. If you're not happy with a person, go cut them out of your life. You don't need those people there. Another thing is, if you don't wanna get fat, don't eat school lunch. Don't waste time in school lunch lines. Pack your own damn lunch. Everyone eats pizza and french fries in my school. That is my advice to you guys. This is a collab video with um, a couple other YouTube friends, so if you guys want to go check out their videos, I will have the playlist link down below as the first link and then their channel links after that. So just go check them out because they all have amazing advice. I wish my incoming freshmen good luck. I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys did, then don't forget to give this a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!